Now we're getting ready to dissect. <laughs> a little bit disappointing, I'm sorry. I, I like having bigger fish. The best way to handle them, mouth or tail. He's really oh, tiny. Look at this little thing. <laughs> He's quite sad. So you can see they have these tentacles that um, they're beautiful fish. That's why people love them. We see them upstairs. The one of the volunteers have trained them to go on their back for food. So if you go up there and um, see, they have these tentacles on their face, which again are for um, distraction. And on this one, you can't really see because it it's juvenile, but they have these um, little spiky things on their face. And as they get older, they get more of them. And that's how they fight each other. First thing we have to do is weigh it. So this guy is so little, it's not an issue. Zero, and then we're going to weigh him. He's probably not going to weigh very much. So it's 4.05, and it's always done in grams. I wonder when you were ever going to use metric. This is it. We try to teach everybody. So you measure from the tip of his mouth as best we can to the tip of his tail. Some scientists measure different ways, but this is how I've been requested to do it. So look at it and go 19 and a half, basically. 19 and a half centimeters. Mm -hmm. A lot. Wow. So if you imagine on a bigger one, it's even more yeah. more distinct. That's crazy. Yes. Yeah, it looks almost like a little snook mouth or something. Yeah, and they when they they hoover everything and they vacuum it in. Right. They distract it with their pectorals and then they vacuum it in. So let's get ready to dissect. Uh, so first thing we have to do is to take the spines off. So obviously that's an issue trying to. So these are the ones that are the most. You can see how distinct those are. Oh. They're super sharp. Yeah. And I don't know if I can see when you get these sheets down. There is like a spongy material inside. They're not any glands, it's just stored in this material. You can't really see it. Probably should have a what I don't there. like is that they tend to fly. Oh, okay. Yeah. The, but the scientists do it that way and they laugh. Oh, we, sh we were shooting spines at each other. I was thinking, man, you guys need some serious fun. It is probably easier, but he's so little, it won't matter. And we try to point it downwards, so I don't want to shoot him across. Because lots of times I have kids in here as well. So the ones we have to worry about down here. And you'll see them. Um, they're very distinctive. This one's not peeling back so well, but... It's that one right there. And it again, you can see the, it's got the same consistency as the other ones, whereas the fin part looks completely different. Right. So that's that. So it's sort of like a, a catfish. Yeah, there. yeah. Right. So we want to take these guys off. Okay, not last but not least in the anal area. I'm going to take this off as well. Just for easy, um, you can see it properly. So down here, you can see. Okay, I see it right there. It's very distinctive. Yeah. But obviously to see that, you've got to be close enough. You've got to see it from here. <laughs> yeah. The whole thing. Pull away, pull away, pull away, trying to, to sever any organs. And we're going to get to this part here, and you can you can probably see it's called the pelvic girdle, even though it's way up there, right. and it's super tough. It's going to need this to crack it. So you can imagine on a bigger fish, it's even more intense. Try to crack it as much, much as we can, and. Old-fashioned way was to leave it on its back and keep going, but now we lay it on its side so that all the, the organs don't droop. 
transmitted, they lay flat, it's easier to um, find the gonads because they're not always the easiest thing to find. So what I'm going to do is cut a, actually I'm going to do this as well, I'm going to sp split the gill. So we're making like a flat. Right. Obviously if you're um, cleaning this for dinner, you wouldn't have to do all this. So I'm going to pull away, pull away, pull away. So what I'm going to try to find now is the gonads, but because this thing is so little, <laughs> it's going to be a challenge. Normally they're laying across the swim bladder, and that's its stomach there, I can tell, because only because I've done this quite a lot, a lot. It's got a pretty big stomach, and I think we might be in luck today with something fun in there. And, okay, I think... So, I just know from experience that that's a gonad. What, what, what's the gonad? So it's this part. These are the, oh, okay. the like the ovaries in girls and right. testes in boys. And it's based on the shape. And in actuality, for a little fish, this one looks like it might be getting ready to spawn. Because normally they're super thread-like. And this, mm -hmm. I know, seeing it in bigger fish in a bigger mass looks egg-like to me. So what I'm going to do is um, try to... Separate that a little bit. Change my gloves. Yeah, thank you, Tony. I usually took about 20 because inevitably one comes out. Four. In a female, this this one's puffy and rounded, but sometimes they're both very thread-like in appearance. Right. But the females will be very um, tapered on the ends, whereas the males are rounded. They'll be th this shape. Okay. And the like reason for that, drop. yeah, kind of like that. But the girls are, it's it's so they can expand. You see, when they fill up with eggs, they need that expansion. So it's very <coughs> it's very pointy. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. our next um, thing that we want to look at. So we found the gonads. We're going to um, try to get the stomach out. Uh, let's see what he ate. Yeah, and I feel something in there, but sometimes it's just deceptive because. Um, The stomach is super tough. It's like an old tire. And it's mm. very hard to rupture the stomach, although I try to be careful. The thread, this is what I'm talking about. They're okay. tapered, very, very tapered. Okay, I see. So that can expand, whereas right. the, the boys won't really expand. So I'm gonna get as high up into the neck as I can, the throat area, so I can pinch it off. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to weigh this because inevitably um, by the time I get done squeezing that thing zeroes itself out and then it's completely wrong. Well. I'm just going to do it this way. And you know what? I was, I was complaining about my little fish but I think he's got something good in here. Oh, what is that? That's an entire fish. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, and some shrimp. He's had quite a big meal. I'm not taking oh, I don't yeah, normally good. take pictures. Usually the contents are like nothing. That's yeah. been really good. Yeah, it's a whole bunch of little shrimp. Yeah, little shrimp. Yeah. I thought it was a fish in there. That might be a fish tend to digest really quickly. I found crabs in here, like whole... He's had quite a lot to eat. I wonder yeah. if he's had a meal off of um, somebody's bait. I don't think so. So because that's so interesting, I'm going to take photos. Normally I don't bother. Those are the stomach contents. Stomach contents. So that's pretty good. That's a pretty good find. So, so 0 0.45, that's 60 it. minus 0 0.45 is, what is it, 15 for a little fish? 
Yeah, that's 15. bladder was deflated. Usually sometimes they'll, they'll be inflated and when, before you cut the fish things, there'll be loads of stuff in there. But the, once you hit the bladder and the air goes out, so it's deflated. So gut contents I'm going to list as shrimp. So we've got three shrimp. Three small shrimp. Just kind of redundant. And one partially digested if you flip this over, so you've got like the liver, which is usually the liver color, right? There's the liver. And then we get up into here, and you'll see the heart is very distinctive, if I can get to it. I don't set um, separate because it's so little. There. The heart. It's actually oh, pretty big. It it's a big heart. Yeah, for a little fish. Right? It's got a lot going on. Wow. And really, there's not a whole lot else in there. This is just, you know, blood, a little bit of bloodline. This would be the digestion, digestive tract. Let's see if I can get to the other bone which would be on the other side. It should theoretically be. So they, they have two, two gonads. Mm -hmm. Okay. Exactly. You can see it there. And again, it's very peachy. So this one's that getting is, ready then. That's right. I think yeah, that's filled up. Normally they're very they're they're thin all along. So they got to this one in time. Yep. Some of them have they've had masses of eggs like this. Wow. And they spawn. How they breed is the male releases the cloud of sperm. She releases the eggs and mixes in the water and it floats off into la la land. Pretty cool. So that was actually, I give it credit, it was actually a lot better than I thought it was going to be for a little fish. So there's the other, there's the two. And that oh, one's not as go. inflated. And there's the swim bladder. The swim bladder there. way back there. Yeah. Normally it's. Again, digestive tract in there. And that was his little bladder. It wasn't very big. Just that little bit. That's a little one. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's really so cool. It's inside the invader, lionfish. Very cool. I never get tired of doing this because you always learn something. And then you can go out and catch some live fish and have them for, they're really delicious. They're like a bit like, um, tumble between snapper and grouper in the middle. Really? They're very mild. Um, the other cool thing you can do, there's a, we have a cookbook upstairs, but the spines, if you take them and heat them up, clean them off, heat them at, I think it's 350 for about 20 minutes. It takes the venom, denatures the venom. And the cookbook suggests you can use them like cocktail skewers. Oh, so when they served them, okay. with the time I had it at the, um, vis um, in the administrative offices, somebody was leaving and they served it just like that, which is still a bit freaky, but it, uh, it will definitely make a hit at your next party. All right. So there you go. That's pretty cool. Cool. We wouldn't have touched it without gloves. There is a fully dissected lionfish. Pretty cool. Yep. I know that they were going to start. And there you go, the dissection of a lionfish. Hope you guys learned a little bit. Uh, it was very interesting. Well, until next time, have fun.